Hey guys, Andrew Edwards here, editor-in-chief of GearLive.com, and we need to talk about the new MacBooks that Apple just announced because I'm thoroughly confused as to what's going on over there. Now, the MacBook Pro hadn't been updated in over a year. People have been waiting for a long time for a significant update, and what we got yesterday didn't really impress me all that much. We're gonna get into all that in just a moment. Uh, before we get to it though, just wanna remind you guys we have our current huge smartphone giveaway happening. We're gonna be giving away two smartphones to two winners. And just to be clear, that's one smartphone each for the two winners, not two each for the two winners. But the two winners will each get to choose between an iPhone 7 Plus 128 gigabyte model or the Google Pixel XL 128 gigabyte model. So those are both $850 smartphones. I'll leave a link in the description below as well as a card up here on one of these two corners to the giveaway so that you can enter to win. Good luck. Okay, but now onto these MacBook Pros. Apple just sent one over today. I've got the entry level MacBook Pro here. Um, this one does not have the OLED touch bar. And this might be the most confusing one of the bunch. So I'm gonna recap all the MacBook Pro news, but before I do that, let me tell you what didn't get updated. And Apple has, I believe, six computers. They have the Mac Pro, which did not get updated. They have the MacBook Air, which did not get updated. They have the 12-inch MacBook, which did not get updated. They have the iMac, which did not get updated. And they have the MacBook Pro, which did get updated. So I guess there's five, five models of computer that Apple sells. Nope, there's also the Mac Mini, which did not get updated. So I was right, they have six. So what were the announcements? Let's jump into this right now. I'll tell you all about what Apple announced. Let's get to it. So as I mentioned yesterday, Apple announced the brand new MacBook Pro. There are 13 inch and 15 inch models that come in both silver and space gray. Both models are thinner than their predecessors with the 13 inch coming in at 14.9 millimeters thick and just three pounds and the 15 inch version 15.5 millimeters thick at four pounds. On the inside, the force touch trackpad is twice as large and there's a second generation butterfly hinge keyboard which provides better travel and better feedback when typing. The main feature though on the new MacBook Pro has to be the touch bar. It's an OLED retina display that sits above the keyboard and replaces the row of function keys. It replaces system functions, it adapts to the software you're using at the time. So if you switch to something like Final Cut or Mail or Safari, you'll see the controls on that touch bar change. You also have a quick emoji picker and quick type suggestions. So basically wherever you are in Mac OS, the touch bar adapts to the task at hand. On the right hand side of the touch bar embedded into the power button is Touch ID, which works hand in hand with the new T1 chip on the inside of the MacBook Pro. That T1 chip includes a secure enclave, which means you can use Apple Pay right from the MacBook Pro. The other cool thing you can do with Touch ID, which I don't usually see people on laptops doing, is fast user switching. So you just put your finger on the Touch ID reader and it'll switch you over to your user profile on the Mac. The display in the new MacBook Pro is 67% brighter and higher contrast with 25% more colors. And on the inside of the MacBook Pro is Intel's sixth generation Core i5 and i7 processors with faster memory, faster Radeon Pro graphics for the 15 inch model, and up to two terabytes of faster SSD storage. The speakers on the MacBook Pro are twice as loud, and there are now four Thunderbolt 3 ports, which is the USB Type-C form factor, and those will all work to do everything possible on previous MacBook Pros, but in the USB Type-C form factor, and of course that means you're gonna have to use a bunch of dongles unless you have USB Type-C accessories and peripherals already handy. Apple demoed the touch bar using an updated version of Final Cut Pro, which was released yesterday, as well as Photoshop and DJ Pro, and all of which utilize the touch bar in different ways to give you faster controls and an overall smoother experience using those respective apps. Apple also announced a new partnership with LG, which resulted in a new 27-inch 5K and 21.5-inch 4K display that works with this new MacBook Pro. Now, Apple's still selling the 13-inch MacBook Air, but they also announced a lower-tiered version of the 13-inch MacBook Pro. This one isn't as impressive in the specs area and also doesn't include the touch bar, which is the main feature that was announced yesterday. And it also only has two Thunderbolt 3 ports instead of the four but it's meant for those who are looking at the MacBook Air and want something of a better machine without spending all the money that it would take to get the higher quality MacBook Pro. 
Speaking of price, the new MacBook Pro starts at $14.99 for the 13-inch model of that lower-end version I just mentioned. There's also the $17.99 price point for the 13-inch model with the touch bar. And then the 15-inch version with touch bar starts at $23.99, so that's pretty expensive. The low-end model without the touch bar started shipping yesterday, and the touch bar versions will start shipping in roughly two to three weeks. So there you have it, guys. I'm curious what you think. Again, I was left a little confused. The price on these is more than I thought they would be. You get the OLED touch bar. You get old processor from last year. You don't get this year's processors. You don't get the KB Lake processors from Intel. You get Skylake from last year. And I don't know if you know what that means or not, but basically, you're not getting the latest and greatest for the price you're paying. So I wanna hear from you. Let me know, does the OLED touch bar make you want to pick up the MacBook Pro? Do you see it as a gimmick? Are you gonna buy the new MacBook Pro? Which model are you gonna get? Or are you skipping it altogether? Or are you a Mac user who's gonna switch over to Windows? Let me know what the situation is that you're in because I am genuinely curious. Of course, I need to get the new models because I need to show them to you guys. I showed you earlier. I have the entry level MacBook Pro. I'll have a video review for you up on that one in a few days. And by the way, don't forget, bam, the big giveaway where you can win either a 128 gigabyte iPhone 7 Plus or a new Google Pixel XL 128 gigabytes. Two winners, link in the description below. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. Be sure to click or tap on my face when it comes up here in the video so you can subscribe for free to be made aware when new videos and new giveaways go live. Drop a thumbs up if you enjoyed this one. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. I'm Andrew Edwards, and I'll catch you in the next video.